Hi everyone, Robin here from Gardening with Mama Bird. I'm in my mom's backyard. I thought I'd show you what her backyard looked like. Um, residential homes, probably even now the newer ones, the properties are much smaller and her backyard is probably the size what most residential homes get for a front and backyard currently. So her front yard actually is a little bit larger than many of them get nowadays. So let's take a look at the fun things that she has growing in her backyard. Here I'm sitting her favorite spot when she sits on the back porch and what her viewpoint is from her little chair where she can sit out and have her morning coffee. It's very cozy back here with lots to look at. It's just a very peaceful place to sit to view the garden. Over here hanging in the hanging basket we have a rabbit's foot fern. She purchased this fern about 36 years ago and it was about the size of an orange for 99 cents. And it has hung there for many years because it just loves its little home there. This is one of her holiday cactus and I don't know if many know this when you look at the tips of the cactus, they're a different shape at the top here for a Thanksgiving cactus, a Christmas cactus, and a, an Easter cactus. Over here on the patio, she has a fun little collection of plants. Some of them you could grow in the house, but because she has a covered patio, they grow well out here. This here is a maidenhair fern. Super light and lacy feeling, very airy. This plant is an umbrella plant. I believe it's a dwarf style. It's been here for several years, loving its little spot. She has another one over here which has some variegation in its leaves. So the centers of it has a lighter green tone instead of just a solid leaf. Another holiday cactus and the umbrella plants do well here so she's got several of them this is a succulent that she's had for years that is spilling over on that pot and loving its little space over here on this plant stand she has a very large goldfish plant it's been growing for many years and they get these super cute little adorable flowers that look like little goldfish Above that, she has a couple ruby slippers. The ruby slippers get little kind of magenta looking color tones on them and also an orange type flower, if you can see that. I know the lighting isn't the best out here. The tips of those. As we walk out off the patio area, over time, because they took away the grass that they had, it was a small patch, and replaced it with some pavers. Mom and Dad put all the pavers in themselves. So everything back here pretty much is DIY. Recently, the holly shrubs were complete, filled in, full green, and she's had them limbed up so she can clean up underneath and put some things back in here. She gets a lot of debris falling from up above. She has, they're beautiful, but they are quite messy. Podocarpus trees. She has three of them up there. And so there's a lot of cleanup beneath the, all the leaves that they drop below. But now she can go back there, clean up, and then she can also add some more pots in there, which are easier for her to maintain. She has an old water feature that when the, once the base cracked, she filled with soil. And she has in there a couple varieties of pelargonians. The top one is in bloom right now and has beautiful pink variegations of flowers. 
To the left of that is a barberry shrub that gets as tall as the fence. We go down below here and she has some more little succulents with some little trinkets. Over here she has a crepe myrtle shrub that was only supposed to get about four feet tall and it is probably six foot above the fence so that one was probably marked wrong in the container. We walk along the fence line here a little bit further and her little brick paver stone pathway. She has some more pelargonians. Back here is a recent favorite of hers. This one is called Aroma Bunny Brunch. It has kind of a coral tone to it. It's super pretty. I can see why it's a favorite. Along the fence line, which I'm not sure you can get anymore, is a creeping or trailing Euonymus. She purchased that when she worked at the nursery and trained it to go along the fence line. This arbor has an older type rose, climbing rose on it, and when it's blooming, it is just full of pink flowers, and it's just gorgeous. We love to take family pictures next to it. Recently, she's planted a couple Alberta spruce, dwarf Alberta spruce, to flank the sides of it. And if we walk down this little path, she has started putting some more of her geraniums and little roses back here. We're eventually going to probably add a little stone path back here. She does have an umbrella back here, so during the summer months, if it gets too hot on some of these things, she will raise up the umbrella to give them some shade. She's had lots of luck with these succulents over here. And you wouldn't know it, but they do like a little bit of shade, not too much sun. This is the area that we moved the trough from the front yard over here to the side. Things are doing a little bit better over here. It's not getting as hot. So she's trying some different flowers in here. In a small backyard, it is more challenging to video to show you what is going on in this backyard. But it is super cozy and fun to walk through and explore. Over along the house side, she has a few more succulent varieties. She has a jade plant that is quite large. Next to it is another type of jade plant that has more of a ruffly style than smooth. Another jade plant. Some variegated, I believe that's Liriop. Lamb's ear, which borders the front of this bed. This succulent is very happy here and large. Like I said, mom does really well with the succulents. Look at all the green that that provides. And it's just peaceful and calm looking. The lamb's ear still borders the front of the little brick path with more pelargonians. And she has a variety of succulents in here. This was always a favorite of dad's. The colors on those are just so pretty. This little area used to be the cutest little fairy garden. 
and mom had to eventually dismantle it because the squirrels were taking a lot of pieces. The joke is they were taking the pieces to remodel their little home. So the taller one, this succulent right here, if anybody knows the name of it, let me know in the comments. It also gets a purple flower in the spring, the one above. There's some more, they're just loving their little space. Here I'm standing at the east side of the yard and you can see just in one frame, it's not a very deep backyard. I'll walk along so you get a view of what it's like back here. I hope this small space garden inspired you to fill your garden with the many plants you love. Happy gardening and thanks for watching.